Hey everybody, what's up? It's Osiris with 15 Minutes to Show. Baby, 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 are things going on? What's happening out there in your world? Mine is good, it can always be better. Everyone's world can always be a little bit better. But I think uh, when we say, I wanna say to you out there, London Bridge is come falling down my fair ladies, you can take that and twist it any way you want to. It is all over the news. I mean, brothers, brothers have taken first role in top news in the whole world. Is Sean B. Diddy Combs. It outweighs all of the humanistic things that are going on. I mean, just the darker it is, I guess, the more people get off, I want to say. Um, all I can say about it, I don't know any of these people. I've encountered them from time to time in my experience in the industry. But all I really want to say is that um, <clears throat> we should be very, very grateful that we didn't get invited to some of those parties or our names weren't big enough at the time to go. And, you know, we weren't uh, whatever we weren't to get in and that we did a few encounters rather than being exposed to the whole thing. And I tell you, I wrote a book, as you know, called Nita. And I talk about a little bit of my experience in the entertainment industry and how dark it is. But everything in entertainment is not dark. If you're dark when you get here, entertainment business, the industry will amplify it. If you are a freak when you get here, the entertainment industry will amplify it. <clears throat> no one has any chains in our chains on our necks, nobody has any chains on their ankles, nobody's making anybody do anything. These are all choices that we are making, but I will say that it's an interesting twist of karmic effects. And I uh, like been in the industry many, 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 many long time now. And it's just interesting the twist in terms of cause and effect and that, you know, I guess people, we really don't understand the law of cause and effect that what you do in the dark will surely come to light. And our thoughts, words, action, and deeds not only form who we are as people in past, present, and future, but whatever they are, they will come back to us. So all I can say, moral of the story, keep yourself clean, keep your house in order, and don't do anything in the dark that should have come to the light might embarrass your family, friends, associates. Okay, so now let's get into the real topic I want to talk about today. I wonder what Congresswoman Shirley Anita Hill, I think her name is Anita St. Hill Chisholm, would say today in the world that they all fought so hard for. Mrs. Chisholm, why do you want to be President of the United States? I want to be President of the United States because I'm very concerned about the direction in which this country is moving. Do you think America is ready for a president that is both black and a woman? candidate of black America, although I am black and proud. I am not the candidate of the women's movement of this country, although I am a woman, and I'm equally proud of that. I am the candidate of the people of America. Fought hard for voting. She established the National Black Caucus for Women, I believe. Uh, she served seven terms in the, as a congresswoman. She fought for the Black National Forest uh, to be returned to the Sioux Indian, the Sioux Nation, I should say, uh, for 10 years. So she did quite a bit as a first to do something. We all know <clears throat> that as a first, it's always tough. And then everybody else comes in behind, but they're never the first. The first is the only one that's ever the first. Just remember that. But Shirley Chisholm did a lot. In 1972, she announced her announcement that she wanted to, she was running, not wanted to, running for president. And shout out to Regina King. You and yours did an excellent, excellent job. And not only portraying her 
her dialect in a certain way, but also portraying her spirit and really getting, um, getting the meaning across about who she was. She was way ahead of her time. I, I, I really hadn't thought much about Shirley Chisholm, not that I didn't want to, I just never found politics that interesting. It's a bunch of rhetoric, rhetoric in my opinion. And, and you know, until we get somebody that can run a country and be humanitarian, we're in trouble. So that's my thoughts on that, take it or leave it. But Shirley Chisholm, she had the spirit of man, woman, her courageous, brave spirit. You have to understand this woman went up against all, an all white male, an all white male forum. And I would believe that she told one of the gentlemen, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. She told one of the gentlemen that um, when, if you see me, because I think she made the same amount of money that he made in the Congress. She said, and if you see me in the halls and it, when you see me vanish, I love that she said things without using not one curse word, without using one, just her intelligent brain of how to use words and and command the language, you know, English language. I believe she spoke Spanish. Um, she got a very wealthy group of women to support her. They was, she was for women's rights, <clears throat> but all women, not just black women, all women. She was for human rights above female, male, whatever we're calling ourselves or whoever you want to identify. Human rights is human rights. That means that if someone kills you, you die of natural causes or whatever, we're human. So nobody can take that away underneath all the distractions of sexualities and genders and things like that. Lies the entity that calls itself a human being. And just remember that and think very thoroughly before getting into all of the uh, distractions in the media about certain things. And Shirley Chisholm was one of those people that understood her humanity above her color above her gender that I wasn't a gender until I stepped out and went into kindergarten, you know, and then all of a sudden I knew I was a girl because our parents said you're a girl and that's what girls have and that's the known facts or whatever. So when it comes to people that don't identify with any of that, but just being human, I would say Shirley Chisholm is at the top of the list. Back when she was running for president, not only did she go up against a forum of people, mostly white, male, she made her point known. She wasn't afraid to speak her mind. She got, you know, she was treated in a lot of ways poorly by some of uh, our own culture and in other ways not. It, again, there's that fine line, are you human? Are you identifying with something? Are you identifying with the genders, political causes? Are you just identifying as being a human being? Because I'm a human being above and first of all, foremost. So she got into really big uh, troubles, I think. She knew that she wasn't going to win the presidency. But what made her really strong is that she was willing to try and to get out there and do all the things and do the knuckle. I think the name of her book was Un Unbossed and Unbought so that she could really share with everyone in the future and at that time that you don't have to compromise your humanity for any reason. Again, nobody is tying our legs and show, unless somebody got a gun to your head or they're threatening you and your children and things like that, you know, and even those things you can always report to the FBI. Don't let those kind of fears and intimidations hold, ever hold you back from being human. And I think that I speak as well as a lot of Americans. I think uh, Shirley Chisholm was the uh, first person to see the high honor from President Obama gave her an award uh, for, you know, being the first in what she done and what she had uh, planned to do. And I'm sure if she had lived longer, she would have done a lot more than we had even imagined. But the whole point is that she <clears throat> is my heroine. And if you don't know about her, please watch the Netflix uh, movie on her that Regina King does a fine job. I would vote for you for an Oscar for that. You did it. 
and you brought the spirit of that woman into the room and if she ran white today I'd be hands down voting for her, I'm telling you now because I'd rather have a human in office than anything else so that's our 15 minute show that's what I want to talk about and don't forget to subscribe to our channel push the like button if you like me I like you we like each other so don't forget to push the button also Go and study Charlie Chisholm. It should be a point of interest to anyone that cares about politics in this country. Can't know where we're going until we know where we came from. Always believe that. And it's been another 15 minutes. My pleasure. All shout out to Nirvana Studios of Hollywood. Yay. Come by and check him out. He does a lot of stuff. Very talented. And uh, we'll talk to you later next time. Okay. Be good. Be square and be all right with who you are. Okay, see you next time. Bye.